Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie the Crappy Killer or Crappy Killer. This is a variation of a fly tied by Jim Misura. He used Gartside super secret stuff as flash material, but we're going to use Hairline's Ice Wing Fiber as a substitute today. Um, this fly is uh, in a chartreuse color and it's a favorite color for warm water predatory fish. Can be tied in sizes from one aught all the way down to a 10. Here's the fly in the vise. And the hook we're going to put into the vise is a TMC 5263. That's their three extra long streamer hook. This is a size six. And our thread, UTC 70 denier and fluorescent chartreuse. We'll get our thread started about two eye lengths behind the hook eye. Wrap back to the bend, form a thread base. and tie in our first material, which is the tail. That's just going to be ostrich plume and the color chartreuse. We'll pick out five or six pieces, try and even them up somewhat. And we want these to be about a hook shank and a half in length. About there, I think. Tie this in right on top. Kind of unruly fibers there. Capture them like this. Body for the fly is going to be some hairline diamond braid, the color pearl. This is flat diamond braid. You don't have to use this. You can use their standard diamond braid. Going to have the same effect. It's going to give you a nice underbody. Tie this in right at the base of the tail. Save our work. Use our rotary vise to form the body of the fly. Now, because it's flat, we're going to have to wrap it back over itself a few times to give the body a little bulk and a tapered appearance. Cut off our excess material. Neaten that up just a bit. And our flash material is going to be some ice wing fiber in the color fluorescent chartreuse. And that's about what we want there. And we want this to extend back about to the end of our ostrich plume. Tie that in on top. Fold back the remainder of the material. And if it's a little long, we'll take our scissors and just kind of trim it along like so to give it a bit of a taper. And for the belly of the fly, we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to make it shorter. It's only going to go back about as far as the gap of the hook. Tie that in like that. Fold back our material. I'll cut that off a little shorter than what we tied the initial in. Neaten it up. For the hackle, uh, we're going to use some strong Chinese saddle hackle and the color chartreuse. And we'll prep that by cutting away all of the material we don't need. We're going to tie it in by the tip and we're going to wrap back on it to force it to lay down along the body of the hook. So we'll create a tie-in point, snip that off at a couple mil. Bring our hackle pliers. Preen our fibers back. And take four or five turns up towards the hook eye. Tie 
turn that off. And we're going to wrap back over that to help lay those fibers down. Like that. And build up a small head. Got a whip finish tool, four or five turn whip finish. And the last thing to go in will be our eyes. Those are some fish skull living eyes, the color's ice. And they're three millimeter, kind of hard to work with. They're pretty small. We're going to use some Loctite super glue to initially hold these in place. I like this stuff, it stays where you put it and it Gives you just a little bit of time to work with it before it sets up. Give that a bit of a squeeze so it'll set up. And now we're going to use some UV resin from Loon. This is uh, their thin finish to fill in the head and help hold the eyes on. I'll hit that with a light, come back and put another coat on. And that's it. Our fly is finished. Please feel free to add comments at the bottom of the page and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep all the current content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching and hope to see you again next time.